in right. doubles. Um, and importantly, we are not seeing Ga no. Game & Watch from Eric, though. We've got the Mario coming okay. out. So wanting some explosive ladders of their own here. Right, right. I'm, I mean, they'll be interesting. They will definitely be able to get some combos together here. If Red Team wants to scrap, Mario is really good at kind of responding to that with some combos of his own, some really good ways to stuff out approaches and forward tilt, up special as well. Yeah, I mean, my the, my hot take is we're going to be seeing up air. Yes, From who? Yeah. Pick one. <laughs> we might see him all across the board, I'd, I'd say across the board is a, is a great call. Um, starting off here, already looking pretty even. Um, Mario took some big damage, but also gave out some big damage, so we're pretty much breaking even here. And, oh my yeah. god, yo! <laughs> I was gonna say, we got... Okay, I was gonna say, we have a down air lined up, but that was really good from Dro to interrupt that. The thing about Alolan Whip is, like, even the incidental hitbox, which you don't see in singles, is Ooh. so good in terms of knockback. Great down smash, great up smash. Comet is coming to play in this game one. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, that's a good point. Like, you would never see that incidental hitbox in singles unless you're playing against, like, Ice Climbers. Right, right. Um, I, and I just wasn't used to it, but yeah. Absolutely really strong options. Something you've got to be careful of. Yeah, and I mean, Fox does like the side special ledge. Even right there when you try to help Another your teammate one, yeah. out. A big damage, great knockback, and it's set up for a pretty bad spot for Red Team now on the back foot. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, Comet, again, as we have seen him do, is maintaining a pretty low percent, doing well on this stock. Um, but, you know, obviously did lose it, is starting to take damage, and Yoshi especially was taking some big damage from the blue team's juggles. Right. So, uh, it's fairly even right now. We will see who is able to come out on top. That's brutal. <laughs> that is just unfortunate for Yoshi. Yeah, yeah. Four things went wrong right there. But one thing I definitely want to shout out too is the Mario pick from Eric. Some, you know, Mario's neutral is, mm -hmm. however, you know, it's good or bad in certain situations. But the combo game, the punish, the advantage, all very good stuff. So when you see these scrambles, sometimes Mario doesn't have to work to win neutral. He's just helping his teammate out and it leads to big damages and big punishes as well. So really yeah. good stuff. The Yoshi down special. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the the that's the sideways Wii mode like elementary school <laughs> yeah, move, yeah, yeah. you know. But it still works. It's yep. Still a good move. The up and down can never go wrong. Wow, um, the Alolan Whip didn't wow. take it at 117 after the hit. Yeah, pretty impressive DI or you know an unfortunate uh, lack of a kill there for the blue team. Um, and so instead we are pretty much completely even here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did Fox did one jab and Incinera was like, all right, that's enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the smallest hit, neutral special. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I like that. Some good pressure on the ledge. We got the up smash and forward tilt as well. Ooh, it looks like a, maybe a back air. Not finding the mark though. Red team fighting back right now. Yeah, red team. Oh, red team was fighting back, but Yoshi unfortunately loses that stock. Fox has the mobility to maybe get some things done and the kill power, some. Up airs, some back airs. I mean, it could definitely be good, but this ledge trap is hard. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I mean, even I think that worked out because it was a little bit too ambitious from Eric. For but sure. If you just have Mario kind of sitting at the ledge. You can kind of jump and nair to cover most of Fox's approaches. And even right there, we got two neutral airs. Not gonna oh, oh, my D money! <laughs> that was money. That was money, D money. That was pretty sick. That was wild. That was pretty dope. They just called him D until he picked up Incineroar. And then <laughs> 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 fact, <laughs> fact. That was wild. I was like, oh, like, what do you do here? Like, Alolan Whip is hard to land because of the Firefox mm. hitboxes. And I couldn't even have time to think of a second option. The cross shot just came out. Yeah, it was already Super out. As, yeah, exactly. It was already out. Uh, great stuff from Blue Team. Pretty convincing game one win. Um, and already looking, I feel like, more convincing than the uh, previous set between these two. Yeah, yeah. And one thing I want to point out, too, is Mario, mm -hmm. like I said, Really good at kind of interrupting those advantage states of the other team. Yes. That down air from Yo Mario on the Yoshi to take that second to last stock was so very important. True. Just I, so yeah. very fast. Jump up there, interrupt that combo. Really good stuff. Yeah, it's a great call out, and it's absolutely we're gonna something we're gonna see more of. That mobility and those hitboxes for Mario are definitely gonna be disruptive. Um, and we'll see if it goes to the same benefit this game, although. <laughs> It's looking pretty explosive for Red Team right now. This is more like what we saw in the winner's side set. Yeah, we might not see a lot of Mario Advantage State this game. Yeah. I mean, that first stock kind of went away, and that second one was... Ooh, Dro is cooking Mario right now. And on the other side, the Fox beats the Cat. Oh my good, that was going to be the biggest forward smash. <laughs> the money saving the day. It could have been Eric on the last stock, possibly, but yeah, they're still wow. fighting back. Oh, oh I, so... Uh, 
uh, Comic go trying to go for the interrupt there. So it does get some damage onto D Money, but uh, oh, and misses a tech again. We've seen Comet miss a few of those. It obviously is tough to tech and double sometimes with how much is going on the screen. So, I mean, I can't really fault him too much, but it is still tough. That's kind of an early kill, though, on the Yoshi F smash from the other side of the stage on Eric. Right. I was also surprised. Miller alone looked to set up a 2v1 opportunity. Fox going to make it back with the jump. And the Incineroar neutral are not sending the right way either. Dark Larry getting punished as well. Red team picking all of the right options right now. Dash attack and a forward third up smash is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a kind of a goofy confirm. Uh, clearly a solid one though. Did a good 35 ish. Maybe we got a re grab opportunity here, so we're going to have to land back on the stage. Really good stuff. They just give up oh, the edge guard and fight back, but that cross drop. So many incidental socks. Yes, absolutely. We, we've seen that uh, now a couple times, and pretty pretty key. We're going to need to see another one or two of those, maybe, if they want to follow this game. Although, it's it's really not that crazy. No, no, definitely not. I, I mean, the stocks are even, even if the percents aren't, but we've got a revenge stack on... Uh, or, no, maybe it got... Okay, no, I think it got used up. But regardless, I mean, Incineroar can get crazy early kills. Mario can get some crazy early kills. Ooh, and if they have these opportunities for team combos, it could be good as well. Forward smash not hitting the mark, which is good for blue team. That back air pressure definitely hard to deal with as well. Yeah, D Money stuck in the corner, and Yoshi boxing out Mario, preventing a uh, rescue here. Ooh. Okay. Quick restock. Yeah, Pretty smart. nice quick one. Big damage coming up on Fox. Ooh. Red team is up a stock here. Yeah, but hold on. This Fox edge guard could possibly switch the momentum. The back air actually taking the Fox stock, but not the Incineroar stock. Oh, unfortunate for Red Team, because now it's even more even than it was before. Okay, that was huge though. Red Team holding onto the Yoshi stock is just phenomenal right now. Really good stuff from Joe not to go down right there. Yeah, look at this. They're just covering their spaces. No one's getting too antsy. Uh, you especially want to protect Dro here because if you know Dro gets uh, loses this stock, then it become it goes from being quite winnable to pretty much a toss-up. Right, right. Um, but yeah, the game plan, they're really just relying on Fox in front, and that charge F smash on the neutral getup will clean things right yeah, up. Yeah. That's a good option, too, as common, charging that forward smash, mm -hmm. because either it just works, they do regular getup, <laughs> sure. or it baits a getup attack, and your teammate can punish as well. Regular That's true. Getup attack does have a lot of cooldown in that situation. Even if it's invincible during that attack animation, Yoshi can just run up there and punish yep. with a pretty powerful hitbox as well. So. Pretty much a sealed deal. I think your best bet in that spot is to try and jump, jump away. Yeah. But like, what you want me to jump against the Yoshi? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and also, I mean, me personally, like at the legend, those situations, I feel like 50% of the time in that exact situation, if I try to jump, I jump yes. at the wrong time and yep. still get oh, up smashed. Yep. You know, <laughs> hundred out of a hundred times. A hundred out of a hundred. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but it was super good coverage, great adjustments from the red team that game. Um, and we've, we've definitely got ourselves a set here, 1-1, one, one, uh, starting off Losers Finals, uh, going to small battlefield here for this game three. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I, you know, it's blue team's pick here, but it feels like almost red team favor just because it, it might be a little bit easier to scrap on small battlefield. Yeah, the but. smaller stage, the, the stray hits, those platforms. I mean, <laughs> look at that, AG immediately called it. I'm this saying, is, like, Fox forward here almost killed 13 seconds into the game. Like, yeah, that's 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 the kind of scrapping that we're seeing this game, and I mean, I'm I'm certainly here for it. I love a scrappy double set. Oh, for sure, for sure. Nice rapid jab there. I love that positioning from Dro, threatening to either play some neutral or follow up with the teammate. But blue team wrestling Ooh, back. Red team no. Yeah, yeah, Yoshi no jump. Great edge guard from Incineroar. Wow. Right. What a crazy sentence. But big rapid jab here into the dark area. Gonna be another scramble, but blue team holding on to the stocks until finally that box up smash finds one of them. Whoa, Ooh, what the heck okay. is going on? Okay, so I guess it's blue. I guess it's Eric who loses that interaction, I suppose. Yeah, a lot That's, of damage yeah. ends up going down. Ooh, and Sinora's not gonna make it back. Disgusting shine from Comet. That was at like 12 on Incineroar. That right. was sick. Yeah, Incineroar, not the best recovery in that spot. That angle, especially. They're gonna try and make something happen here, but they're gonna have to make a lot happen in a short amount of time. Not a lot of room to work with here after that unfortunate interaction for Blue Team. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Red Team looking pretty good. Incineroar was kind of popping off for a second there, but then uh, the Red Team got it under control a little bit more. Right, right. Um, 
And so now it's sort of chilled out a little bit, just sort of neutral, kind of two 1v1s being played-ish. Um, oh, no. Just a lot of stuff being broken up, honestly, right. as we're seeing. Okay, big pickup, though. That backer is going to set up for... Oh, save the jump. Very smart stuff. Ooh. Incineroar misses the ledge, and there's the restock. And then grabs Mario. Luckily, does not pull the trigger on the Alolan whip, though. Okay, We're trying to make something happen here, but it definitely does look like we are thinking about the next game. Yeah, Two, oh, I don't know. Are are we? Quick one. <laughs> are we? Wait a second. We've seen some pretty interesting pickups from Eric with the Mario. Those yeah. combos as well. Some good punishes too. We can maybe make something happen here, but I think like Dark Larry is a pretty big hitbox or a pretty committal one to throw out in these situations. Yeah, I was gonna say we pulled it out a couple times, trying to use it to protect Mario, but definitely super punishable. Um, just enormous amounts of damage on the up airs into Yoshi down air. But I mean, the the percentages are rapidly, rapidly evening up. Right. We're seeing some really good capitalization, even though Blue Team is kind of getting hit. The teammate is finding some big hits too. That forward smash was smart, but does get punished by the back air. And we are down to a very rough spot. In fact, yeah. we're down to game four. And there it is. Um, blue team again, you know, the the big swings almost pulled it out for him. But uh, red team, once again, the composure and the, the game plan was just that solid, you know? Right, right. The juggles, the disruptions. Uh, Mario was at such a high percent, and it was kind of hard. I mean, Incineroar is so slow, it's kind of hard to protect your teammate in that yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, if you could chart the momentum, red team, absolutely wild out of the yeah. gate. <laughs> then they kind of got slowed down a little bit, right? D-Money and Eric were finding some pretty good options, some pretty good pickups. Their team combos were looking better. But then like the wind left the sails after that mishap over on the left side. Yeah. Then all of a sudden after, you know, they got beat up a little bit more, blue team looked very confident. All of a sudden it was down to that wide, even like, Though the percent still a very different story. When it was a last stock situation, it looked like it, was it felt like it was down to the wire. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with you. I mean, that the, the graph would have been the uh, quintessential, it's so over, we're so bad exactly. situation yeah, that game. Um, and we are going to Kals for this game four. As you can see on the screen, we do not see Mario anymore. We're back on the game and watch for the blue team. Um, going for a big wide stage with lots of juggle room in this flat portion for Game & Watch, and we're already seeing that. I was going to say, we don't even have to worry or wonder about why it's a good pick or why we see the character switch. Those up airs are just holding down so much of the stage in Kalos here. See if we got a punish here. No, not going to find that dash attack. Yeah, not quite, though. Oh, see, okay, the, the Fox dash attack setting up onto those Kalos platforms is brutal. Yeah. That is a really deadly setup, and we saw it work out to the red team's favor and to the detriment Ooh. of D-Money there. Okay, Yoshi not going to make Ooh. it back. The forward air breaking through the eggs and that approach. Let's see if we can hold on to this stock here. So far, Comet playing the role of stock tank, which we've seen work wonders previously. Yeah, it's sort of it's been one of the consistencies throughout all the sets, at least we've seen of these two teams. Is Comet surprisingly is sort of the one taking the stock tank role, but unfortunately. Um, not quite the best angle on the up B. Right, right. Probably got, you know, understandably nervous by the incineroar pressure and just angled it a little too low, so. I understand, yeah. <laughs> it, it happens. It, yeah, it definitely happens. And Comet's still looking healthy Ooh. on this second stock, although uh, Yoshi's getting abused right now by yeah. this uh, incineroar. Wow. And Alolan with right there kind of slowed down the approach of Comet, even though it didn't find the mark really stops you from a lot of options because of that lingering hitbox from the throw. For sure, yeah. Calling back to earlier in the set where we saw some big punishes coming out when both red team members were getting hit by a Lillian Whip. So, a good adjustment there, uh, but unfortunately meant that Yoshi couldn't really be held. The oh shield, my god! Oh my, the shield Yo. almost broke from the revenge stack on that Lillian Whip. That was crazy. Also, Fox died at, I think, 77 right. post hit. Yeah. That's, <laughs> I mean, like, I know it's Fox and it's Sinra, but that's still crazy. Okay, some good damage here. See if we can run away with the little blue team lead that we have here. Red team already, though, responding Oh my wonderfully. gosh. That was such a good pickup. That Yoshi up smash, I feel like just... If your DI is even just a little bit off, you can be going straight off the top easily, just like Game & Watch just did. And even after that big, big Alolan whip um, and that big damage built up early by Game & Watch, this is an even game. Wow, that was so smart from D Money. Didn't know which way we were going to go, but both red team members were terrified. <laughs> big damage right now. Eric on the fresh stock. Yeah, blue team's looking solid here and looking even better after that Fox kill. 
Now you just need to clean up this Yoshi stock and we're going to game five, but we'll see if maybe Dro has anything to say about that situation. It's gonna be tough. Not a lot you can do. That is a good way to get it started though. I was gonna say, looking for maybe a follow-up off of that egg lay, not able to find the hit though. Yeah, that could have been key. Uh, no double jump for Yoshi. Gonna air dodge back in and yeah, up air will cover that landing on the platform. Um, the counter pick working to the blue team's advantage and we are going to another game five. Yeah, there's so much that you have to adjust to when they switch the stage and the character. And mm -hmm. we saw even just that first dock, I think was the best showing of it. The Game & Watch up air just <laughs> did so much damage. Oh my gosh, it was putting in so much work. Right. If there was a move that was MVP of a game, it would probably be that. Yes, definitely, definitely. But I also got to give it up for a Alolan whip, like we said. Yep. Even, it took some early stock, sure, it did a lot of damage, sure, but it also cut off so many options because now Red Team is starting to kind of second-guess themselves when it comes to the timing of the punishing it, you know, for sure. Yeah, the, just the fear alone uh, making a big difference there. And now we've got game five. Uh, we're going back, sticking with the game and watch, understandably so, after the, how that game went, I mean, of course. Um, and let's get into it. Let's see how this game five goes. We'll see if, you know, Red Team might have been thrown off after the Game & Watch pick. We'll see if they can pick up where they left off in winners with the Incineroar right. Game & Watch team. Or maybe we'll see a blue team turning the tides a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we've seen Battlefield do wonders for teams who have a bit of a hard time landing. So True. that could be all the difference right now. We're seeing some fantastic Ooh. combos and some big damage, 60 and more over on blue team side. But finally getting that center stage. Yeah, and you know, this is, if one of the characters were to take the damage, it would be Yoshi if you're the red team. So, Ooh. Combat once again looking pretty healthy. <laughs> right. Until uh, Yoshi decided to go for a quick grab on their own teammate. But you know, these, these things happen. Combat's still looking pretty healthy, but obviously, especially with these characters, it comes down to the kills. Who's gonna, who's gonna knock someone out first? Yep, definitely poising to do it right now on red team. Some big hits, a Yoshi up smash. Maybe trying to take that all-star spot, but not finding the stock. Exactly. Game Watch down smash, even the sour spot, a really good angle to work with. Yeah, a brutal angle, but Yoshi gonna die off the top. I don't even know if I saw what, what that the, was too. I think the down smash off the top? What down smash on? off the top, sure. Okay. Why not? Um, and that Fox up smash will even the stocks right up. Um, percentage gain to the red team right now, but uh, let's see Let's see what Eric, though, can do with this first stock. I mean, if, if they can stock tank a little bit, you know, as we've seen, it can make a huge difference. Right. Oh, wow. That was oh, a, I love that. Such a good pickup and in the thick of things, too. That is all of the difference. That's like the red team we saw in that winter semi set. Just right. getting those kills off of seemingly no relation interactions. Right. Like if Fox gets a grab and all of a sudden Yoshi's up smashing you. That yeah. <laughs> is definitely what red team was uh, you know, getting a lot of mileage with earlier. We're seeing a little bit more of that right now. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I was about to say it's even, but until now, uh, Ta or a talent flame comet was on their first stock but dropping the first stock still looking fresh on this second one but uh we'll see what he can do with it hopefully maintain it if you're the red team and not get blown up as we've seen fox can certainly have happened to them definitely definitely see the neutral special come out really good pressure from d money unfortunately it's was just a little too slow to make something too wild happen so we just see a lot of you know, sort of jockeying for position, the alone whip finding the wrong target. Yeah. Now blue team trying to make something happen center stage. That's a good way to get it oh, started. Oh yeah, we're going up. I definitely like the idea of tossing Fox into the air and just trying to get a landing, but the Nair up smash on one side and I think just the raw up smash on the other, I might've been yep, backer. Yep. Um, red team is gonna take each stock and now let's see what kind of extra credit they can get before this gets taken to last stock, if it even does. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's gonna be tough, but dash attack's a really good way to find that little bit of an opening and see what we can make happen here. Neutral air for some extra damage as well. Comet, once again, the X Factor, holding onto those socks for just a little bit longer, but it makes all of the difference. Yeah, absolutely. That just that, especially with the speed and the amount of damage Fox is doing, that extra credit is critical. Um, and we're seeing it build right now. Still cannot find this stock on Comet. Uh, once again, alone and whipping the wrong person. It's just the aggressive forward air on stage. Red team's looking good here, but yeah, there's the classic, but really great DI. That one also not taking the stock. Yeah, still doesn't kill, but that's great damage. Fox does lose that second stock, so we are at even stocks despite the large percent lead in the favor of red team. Uh, Eric, though, has something to say about that, chaining some nares together. Yeah, that Game Watch neutraler did a lot right there. Unfortunately, though, 
any small misstep, red team was ready to punish. Yeah, I mean, 86 on a light character like Game & Watch with some heavy hitters like Fox and Yoshi. We're, you know, Game & Watch obviously have such an impressive move set, but against two people, I don't know if you have the movement speed to get around the plethora of options, especially with the air mobility that both these characters have. Um, definitely seeing uh, Eric trying to play out of the corner as much as they can, but you can't play out of the corner when you're going to the depths. Wow. wow. I definitely appreciate the idea, but Red Team looked like they were ready to move back to winners. Well, sorry, Grand Finals now. Yep. Now They're going to get a in. run back from winners finals, but they want to make it happen. And it did go back and forth in that set, but uh, that last game was a statement, yep. in my opinion. That was that was definitely a statement game. Uh, so much damage.